Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Let's see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Little man joins me. Thank you very much, bro, for giving me some of your time. Top man, pleasure to meet you, mate. Um, yeah, do you feel like a fighter now? Because you've got your fingers in so many different pies, but for about a year, a year and a half, it's, it's, it's been this fighting stuff. I've always been a fighter, because in life, where I was bought as a controclasia, small man, I was fighting from, like, I don't know, just to be trek normal, as everyone else, you know what I'm saying? So I've been fighting all my life anyway, regardless to what I fight in the ring or do whatever I'm doing day to day. So yeah, I've been fighting all my life. So yeah, but it's real recognised, real. I've been in the ring for about two, three years so, and I enjoy it and I really like it. So I'm going to keep doing it, keep punching up these little small men till I find a good opponent and punch him up too and make sure I find a bag. But let's go. You know, when you just have enough of shit, like from a young age and you get to a certain age and you say, nah, not enough's enough. That's why I'm so mad and I've got, uh, I don't know, everyone said you're, you're too energetic, you got ADHD, you're so hyper, like you got no chill, I've got no chill in it. But you know what it is? People love me in it, so I'm not going to change for nobody. I'm just going to keep punching up these small people and yo, I just want to keep the, keep the people keep coming who wants to challenge me because I'm ready for anyone. I, don't, I will never not sign a contract for no opponent, no way. You get me? You know, look in my eyes. I'm a serious man. I do my shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that energy because I spend a lot of time around pro fighters. And if they get too involved at the press conference, they're too involved in the beef at the way and they're zapped on fight night. Everyone I know around you has said you've never, and I mean never, run out of energy. You're never zapped. Where on earth are you getting? You need to be VADA tested, bro. You know what it is? I reckon, yeah, all them years I spent in jail, locked in that small cage, yeah? I reckon it's, it's because of that. Obviously, I've done 10 years behind the door. Obviously, boom. All my life, I've been in a small place. Obviously, I reckon it's because of that. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have an explanation to say why I've got so much energy, why I've got so much drive. But I, I have got ADHD. I know that for a fact. I am ADHD down my head. But you know what it is? It's a good thing. I'm blessed, in it? Because that's what keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the man you got in front of you, Chun Tan. Now, his claim Tuna is... Fish. Tuna Fish. Yeah, his yeah. claim is... The UK's smallest bodybuilder. Your claim is simple, be, famous, that, that, and, famous and dangerous. It's yeah. two very different personalities you know clashing. Is, he can't be the world's smallest bodybuilder because that's rap cap. I bench 120 kg. I'm the, I'm smaller than him. So how is he the smallest bodybuilder of the UK? It don't make sense. I think is I think there's lies. Yeah, I'm the real deal. Yeah, I'm the man. Yeah, you, little did you know I'm the man. <laughs> Why does it seem like every single person you get involved in this fight situation with, there is a bit of beef? You know it is, how I see it, yeah? I, I'm not going to go in the ring and punch my friend in the face because I ain't going to put my all into it because he's my friend. You know what I'm saying? So anyone wants to challenge me, you're an op. I'll treat you like an op. You're my pagan. Like, you're not my friend. I don't want to chat to you. A fair play, you want to come challenge me, I'll respect that. I'll shake your hand and give you the respect where you, where you get me. But, nah, man. Any, any opponent's an op, so there's no... It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I know you're fearless. I know you've never turned down a challenge, but this man is claiming that he kind of dips his fingers in the Muay Thai stuff, in the kickboxing stuff, and that he's got a fighting background. We'll use that term. Yeah. Um, but I saw you just say to his coach, he can stick that arm out, you're going to duck under, and you're just going to clock him. I'm going to lever him. You know what it is? He cannot come with long arms. That's what people, but people that know me, people back home, people that see me in jail, know I bang big man out. Like, it's not a joke. It's not no lies. It's not no fairy tale. I punch big man out. Like, you got long arms like him, so what is the difference? He's small, but he's trying to say he got, he's got long arms. He ain't going to be able to reach me. You keep coming with your straight jabs, rude boy. I'm going to dock, 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 bow. See you later. Take my money. Go find the next victim. So, yo, good luck to you anyway. And your opponent and your next opponent and whoever else happens. But, yo, you know, I'm the champ. Always going to be the champ. Like, I know it's full focus for Tune, but it already sounds to me like you've got someone in the back of your mind when you say next victim. Nah, um, I haven't, but... Are you waiting for people to call you out? Yeah, you know what it is? I need people to call me out what's got clout. Obviously, I've got half a million followers, everyone knows that. But obviously, these opponents what come in on my Instagram and DM me, DM me um, they have got nothing there. They've got no leverage for me. So, it basically, I'm 
providing all the clout i'm providing all the followers i'm providing all the pay-per-views so it don't make sense i need someone who's got clout itself like it makes it you know what i mean it, it works both ways if i've got clout you got clout let's win let's do this i've got clout you ain't like, it's not gonna make sense to me i need the money you know, i'm not doing it for no just to get another belt mate i need the bread i need bread you get me man comes from the trenches i come from the fucking streets you know what i'm saying i want money i want to buy a nice house buy my daughter a house and i'm happy at least i can boy at least i can say i've done that you get me well, there you go. Anyone listening, that's an active on, call out. Hit your man up. Um, one more message. I know obviously you'll come face to face tomorrow night, and that is where it matters. But just down the lens, one more message to what? your man, Tune. Tune? <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. You're moist. You're wet. You're not on my level. Man's a bad boy for you. You're a little fish, yeah? Tuna fish in a little pond, yeah? I love eating tuna. I, I love eating salmon. I'm going to eat you for dinner. Don't worry. We'll see you in it. Breakfast, dinner, whatever you want to call it. Supper. Papa, yeah, you know my thing. Like I don't give a fuck what it is, but yo, people them, come man. But the Wolf Mamba, come and the Polish boy with your half a million followers. Mini Magic. What's his name? Mini Magic. Mini Magic. You know my face, yeah. I'm not scared, bro. I ain't slim, you know, brother. Yeah, you see, real recognized, real, real shit round there. Mm. Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank versus Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Eh? See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.